You're not there to serve an interest group or you're not there to serve an agenda. You're there to serve society. Uh, and the best columns, I think, are the ones that ask a question that's the right question at the time. If it's a question that's going to make people uncomfortable, sometimes that's a sign that it's the one that you should be asking. We have that unique bond, that unique insight into community life, into what's happening, what's important, what really matters to people. We will look back on this period in our lives in the same way that our, maybe our grandparents look back on, on the Second World War. And I think journalists' job during this pandemic has been to you know, write the first draft of history and to chart the extraordinary decisions that were taken and were publicly announced and what was going on behind the scenes. What we uncovered was that FBD had sold the policies to a number of businesses specifically to cover coronavirus. And then once it did come and they were potentially on the hook for all these losses, they changed their position and said, we won't be paying out your claims and we're very sorry. The sector has a much bigger audience now than it ever had before because of digital. On a morning in 2014, a lady called into our front counter asking to speak to one of the reporters because she wanted access to our files. Her name was Catherine Corliss and she was doing a project on the tomb mother and baby home. We were the first story, we wrote the first story, we were the starting point for Catherine's research and it's something that in our own small way we take enormous pride in as a newspaper and as a newsroom. These decisions are being made in Brussels, thousands of miles away, uh, but they're ultimately going to affect what happens on Irish farms. We're putting in the hours of analysis, the days of reading, and the weeks of pursuing a particular story. That's something that farmers don't necessarily have the time to do for themselves. We decided we were going to bring out a supplement for the commemoration of the death of Michael Collins and what a lot of people wouldn't have realised was that Michael Collins was one of our original shareholders in the newspaper and we've had an absolutely huge response. People calling into the office looking for copies and even though we've had a version online and they were saying no they want the hard copy, they want the print, they want to be able to feel it, hold it in their hands. So our editor Des Gibson said we're going to boycott this fight. We're not going to cover it in our sports pages. We're not going to give it any praise so long as Daniel Kinahan is involved. To make that statement was more powerful than any story I could have written or any of my colleagues really could have written about it at that point. One of our newspapers, the Limerick Leader, has underneath its masthead, life is local. We've never been closer to our communities. There are about maybe 20 different ways now to contact a local news journalist. The 25th anniversary of Cavan winning the Ulster Senior Football Championship, the anglo Cell Cup, it fell on the, on the day that we were published. We threw the kitchen sink at it, we published a 64-page special supplement. It went so, so well. Our offices were flooded with calls because it really did capture how much it meant to, to Cavan people. I think that part of the problem with so much in life is that nobody really knows the value of it until it's gone. And we don't want that to happen to our industry. We've seen the government move to change the complete way that the vaccine is given since these stories started. We've seen a contract pulled to a private hospital who was administering the vaccine. We've seen the chief executive of a state-run company step aside because of journalism. So one thing is clear, journalism can have a clear meaningful impact, and it does. Professional journalists work with many rules and constraints, and it's when we have gone through the rigours of all of that, the verifiable truth comes out at the end. And if society doesn't have verifiable truth, then society is at risk.